Happy good rainy day. This is Brienne from Zenful Mindings and I'm coming today to talk about being open to receiving from the universe and from life and from ourselves and from people that we encounter and how that can be so hard. It can be one of the hardest things and I know for me it is. It is definitely hard for me because I have this inner skeptical voice that is built in and embedded as a protection mechanism from different circumstances and situations that I've gone through. It is something I've grown over time and that I learned. Um, and it's so hard to shut that off and, and notice, right? And it's important that we notice that we're doing that. So this week, particularly for me, I have had a lot of beautiful moments and gifts from the universe. And at first I was like, whoa, what's going on universe? I really was looking at it with the skeptical eye and, and truthfully, like I still am, I, it comes up because it's still there, right? You can't just shed something like that overnight. But what's so magical about it is that I noticing when it happens, like I notice even in my language when talking that I am making maneuvers to distance, right? I am like, mm, but what's the catch here? And maybe, I don't know, um, but I'm noticing it. So I'm able to catch it and say, well, why am I really saying that? Or why am I really doing that? And it's because I'm scared, right? I'm scared that it's going to hurt later. I'm scared that it's gonna be taken away. I'm scared I'm gonna be wrong. I'm scared of a jillion things, but why do I have to be like, the things that we have already gone through in our lives, we have survived them all. We have come out of them, blazing glory light seekers that we are, all the better for the wear and tear and stronger. And so this, this is that moment, right? This is a moment for me. So I'm going to choose to notice, to keep noticing and to move forward and be a little bit more fearless and to shut that voice down when I hear it, to really uncover what I'm trying to do for myself because I don't need to survive, right? This moment for me is about thriving and it's a huge difference. It's a huge difference to see that. And when we find ourselves in a yoga posture, right? Just trying to survive it. Like we're holding our breath. We're just like waiting for it to be over. We're cursing the instructor. We're doing all sorts of things up here just to make it through that moment. And then when it's done, we are grateful. We are like, whew, we did that. But when we are thriving in a yogic posture, we are breathing, we're meeting our edges, we're backing off and in and out when we need to, we're modifying as we find fit for our bodies and spirits that day. So why don't we do that with how we live life off of the mat? By noticing when we're surviving and shift that into the thriving, that reception, that acceptance of what's happening and just let it be good. Just let it be good and let it be beautiful. Whether that is <clears throat> for you something super small or something super large, just let it be good right? Let's not focus on stopping the negative self-talk, but noticing what it's really saying, right? So not the words, but why it comes up, when it comes up. Those are the tickets to making us more open to receiving. So today, in this moment, <clears throat> I am choosing to receive from the universe wholeheartedly all the gifts that are in front of me right now. Will you join me? Will you be brave hearted and vulnerable? Scared still maybe, but moving forward. I will leave you with that. I hope you have a beautiful, magical existence today or whatever day you're watching it. Please like, share, subscribe, message me any comments and have the most beautiful day.